Are we all ready to learn a lesson today on how not to be dumb? Because I sure am. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. Thanks again for letting Maria come to work with me today, Mr. Castaneda. My daughter is ready. She'll be here any second now, so you'll have somebody to hang out with. The wealth! The wealth is blind! The wealth be blinding, man! You know what they say? I don't know what they say. I was gonna say Mexicans look good in gold, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a saying. I don't even have gold. My grandma had a gold tooth. Maria, this is my beautiful daughter, Estrella. And I believe you girls are around the same age. Dad, mm -hmm. there is a yacht party this Saturday night and all my friends are gonna go. That's so so cool. can I please go? No. Let's see. I'm very sorry, honey, but the company gala is on Saturday as well. <laughs> I was gonna be like, what's... It's a yacht party. It's a yacht party. Who cares? I've never been to a yacht party, so I, I, I wouldn't know if they were cool or not. I'm, I'm assuming you just stay docked and you go on the yacht and have the party on the yacht but you're pretty much docked because i really wouldn't want to be you know i was gonna say driving around the seas at night but you don't really drive around the seas you sail the seas at night and i i really don't want to be on the ocean at night no i'm good thank you you're the heir to this company okay honey so the least you can do is mingle with the board members and the stakeholders i don't even know what a stakeholder is maria does your dad force you to go to family events See? Then again, my, <laughs> me papa isn't a, a millionaire, Estrella. He right there cleaning the table. Um, proud of you, Dad. Any, anywho, uh, I don't know what stakeholders are. Were they just holding stakes in their hands? You feel all obligated to do things you don't want to do, but you can't force me to live like that. I'm glad I guess you can't like force Australia, her to Maria. live like that. What do you mean? Did you see what she was wearing? I wish I was more like her. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let's go ahead and just wind it back a little bit. When I say I'm glad you're not like her, uh, did you see the attitude? I was talking about the attitude and uh, the overall unpleasantness of being around her is what I meant. Uh, and if I was that girl's dad, I'd be like, yeah, I can't force you. Well, actually, yeah, I'm your father. I could... I'll force you to go to this party. I bet you don't want to go to the party. Go to your yacht party. Go to the yacht party. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to go ahead. Remember. You want to do that. You seem you can make grown adult decisions. You go ahead, do your out party. I'm going to go ahead and just take everything away that's mine. Because remember, your grandfather busted his back. I'm busting my back. And you want to live your own life. So you'll make your own way in life. And that's a good lesson for you. Thank you, honey. That you, 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 you really learning something today. Estrella gets to go to these galas and wear designer clothes. What do I get? Mr. Castaneda is the owner of the company. I'm just a janitor. Well, can't you ask for a promotion? You never ask for help, but you need it. I mean, I can ask for like head janitor. I don't know. What's, what's, what's above janitor? <laughs> I, I don't know. Head of, I, I, I don't know. I, I, that caught me off guard, okay? I thought the poor dog, she, she's like, you got poor person mentality. Jeez Louise. Okay, I, I, the poor daughter was gonna be a little bit more humble and a little bit more accepting and be like I have to fix my hair my hair looks my hair looks doofy look at look at that what's my hair doing I'm about to cut it off damn bro my hair really be looking stupid but yeah I thought the poor daughter was gonna be humble her being a brat too caught me off guard I wasn't prepared for that I just wanted to apologize I'm so embarrassed by how Estrella behaved in front of you guys <laughs> that was wrong you know she she just takes Everything for granted. She doesn't know how good she has it. That's the problem. I get it. Your daughter was pretty horrible. You know, I, I'd be embarrassed too. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> True. I. You know the these kids nowadays they just don't. They just don't know what they got till it's gone. You know. Maria's just as bad. She always wants things we can't afford. One day Maria will realize on her own, hopefully. Maybe I should just drop her off so she can live in this small apartment in Grimsworth, you know? That way she'll realize how good she has it in comparison to most people. The good old rich person method to, to humbling your child. Instead of being strict and, uh, you know, giving them the good old one too, we just show them what it's like to be poor and be like, see, pretty bad, right? Don't want to do that. That's how we humble them real fast. Also, if your friend's the owner of this company, bro, you, you 
Wouldn't you ask for him to pull some strings? Like, come on, come on, help me. Help me out a little bit. Just, just a little bit. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I wish that Maria could experience the high life so she can see it's not all it seems. Estrella, I just got a notification. We need to go now. You have singing lessons and then afterwards, tennis lessons. Ugh. I just need 15 more minutes, Maria. Then we can walk to the bus stop. When is your car getting out of the shop? Bro, do I look like a mechanic? Ignore my jumpsuit. <laughs> okay, listen. Imagine me without the jumpsuit. Do I look like a mechanic then? How I wonder what you are. Okay, my done now. Okay, let's, let's take it back from the top. Try not to sound like you're dying this time. And uh, I, I think it was just the try not to sound like you're dying part was the real issue here. So if we could just, you know, not do that, I think it'd be okay probably. I'm not too sure. Why can't I just hang out with my friends? Honey, you have plenty of time to hang out with your friends. We are just trying to expose you to different opportunities. Less fortunate kids would kill for this opportunity. Less fortunate yeah. kids aren't forced to do things they don't want to do. You know, we're really sorry, but we'll see you Friday. Okay, I, I, I can kind of get behind the fact that as a, you know, as a kid, you don't want to be forced to do things that you don't want to do. You know, you don't want to be forced to take lessons you don't want to take or being a subject that you don't really like. You know, she doesn't like singing. Okay, then she doesn't want to do singing. Why force her to do singing? Tennis, tennis is even that fun, bro. She don't, like, well-rounded. I don't know. I, I, I see the, the, the kid's point here. I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say she's in the right on this one. You know, the parents are, they don't need to be doing all this. I just can't help but to think about how appreciative Miguel's daughter would be to have all these experiences mm. that Estrella gets to have. Yeah. I just wish we could find a way for Estrella to be more appreciative. <laughs> like would that, would his daughter be appreciative of all those experiences or she just wants all the nice things that come with being rich? I don't think she'd be like, oh my God, I would love to go to singing lessons, tennis lessons, any type of lessons. If you told her, yeah, you can do all that stuff, but you can't have like the nice things that come along with it. She'd be like, I'm okay then. I'm good. Thank you. Like Miguel's daughter is. <laughs> we should send her to Miguel's for a month and bring his daughter here. Do you know that Miguel mentioned exactly the same thing to me? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Don't sleep on these little dollar face masks. They work. Which one do you want, Maria? What I want is an actual spa day with, that's what I want. And then what? And do what with all that stuff? Yeah, you just want those things? I, I mean, you can use that as motivation to better yourself. Use that to, to motivate you into doing something more, to being more, you know? Become the dark knight. We can still have a fancy dinner. I know how to make ramen high end with a few extra ingredients. Sheesh, ramen girl. Don't you guys want more? Money and status aren't everything, girl. True. Well, it is to me. That's a very superficial way of thinking, and no one's gonna really like you for that. See, that that's the only thing. That's what you gotta worry about, especially when you have those types of things. Then you gotta worry about are people your friends because they're actually your friends or they're your friends because you have nice things and you also get them nice things you know if you didn't have those things would they still be your friends i think it's that best we hang out another time shallow and think on the same level you know you didn't have to talk to them like that look your friends may not have money either but they're genuine and they care about you and they have small dreams and they smell like poor and they have poor people mentality, so I ain't gonna hang around them, okay? No, I'm over here trying to dream big and me little me casa, okay? And casa de Gucci, just trying to be casa de Gucci one of these days. I can't be surrounded by poor, man! There's only poor people around me! You know, if you have such big dreams, you could always get a job instead of relying on me. You are old Does enough Does Estrella need a job? Mr. Castaneda invited us to the company gala. Sounds fun, right? Are you crazy? I'm not going to that. I don't even have a dress. It'd be embarrassing. Dang, bro, then what, what, what do you want me to do? You're not even giving me a chance. Like, I, I don't understand what you want from me. You over here saying you trying to dream big, but all I hear is yapping and yap, 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 and no solutions. Estrella, do you know why I've called this meeting here with your parents? How am I supposed to know? You've broken the dress code 15 times this month. As you know, Part of the protocol at a private institution is uniformity. 
Public school seems like a dream compared to this prison. Then go to public school. Ain't no one stopping you. Go to public school. Enlist yourself. That's why I'd be, I tell my, I'd be like, go to public school. I'll save money not having to pay for this school. I'm like, go for it, girl. More power to you. You don't need my money. You don't need my house. You are a strong, independent young woman. You can handle it yourself. I am so proud of you. You go, girl. Knock them out. Private school is a waste of money when there's public schools that are just as good right down the street. I'm ready to leave. We're clearly out of place here, and it's embarrassing. You would, uh, Can we not? You wouldn't be out of place things? anyways. What's gonna happen when you wear a nice dress and people start coming to talk wow. to you? And they're like, wow, that's a nice dress. You usually go shopping at Target a lot. And you're like, okay. And then, you know, they start talking about other rich people things and about money stuff. And you're just like, oh, wow, I feel stupid because I feel even more out of place now. You think you're going to keep up? Oh, they are. Okay, Estrella, please stop joking around and come with me right now to say hi. <sighs> this way. No, why don't you, uh, want to go mingle? I saw some girls. Dad, walking. I'm not gonna make a fool out of myself. I'm tired of being the poorest person in the room. Bro, you just made an even bigger fool of yourself. What are you? What are you talking about? You you doing it free of charge, no effort. Everything's either about the family image or the family name. But what about what I want? The family name is more important than anything else. In fact, it's what maintains this lavish lifestyle of yours. In case you forgot. It's like you want to be poor forever. Why don't you just swallow your pride and ask Mr. Castaneda for a raise or even a promotion? Why is everyone shouting in this hallway? I'm oh, sorry, you heard that? My bad. I thought we were all just in our own little space. Uh, I don't know, take, take the money away. Why, why, why is money always gotta be the problem? When you mentioned the other day, you know, the idea about switching daughters, were you serious? I mean, it's not a bad idea, but I don't think- I'll do it. I wouldn't even give it a second thought. Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes to get out of this prison. Let's say for 30 days, Maria will be living with us. And Estrella will live with me. Yes! Perfect! I hope you like Lunchables, Ramen, and the bus! You do know how to use the public bus, right? Public transportation? It's a God-given miracle, honestly. Top ramen to- Ooh, shush! It's not much, but it's cozy. <laughs> so is this like the, the waiting room to your lady. house, or it's like, home. what is this? The real question is, do I have to wake up early? Or do I have anywhere to go? Outside of school? No, not really. The first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'll sleep in. And I think I'm gonna have a girls day, but did my parents send you any money for me? I need like 300. Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Your parents didn't send you anything. You want $300, you better go earn $300. I used to sell candy at school, so I don't know where you're gonna get the money to buy the candy, so. Good luck to you. I ain't got $300 to give you. You want a spa day? You better go you better go dip your face in the mud outside. That's free. Free mud bath. Uh, you could always get a job. I was good to have Maria get one. Oh my gosh. I this is amazing. And it's all yours to enjoy for the next 30 days. Mm -hmm. As you can see, based on your schedule, you have to set your alarm for 4 a.m. You're gonna do morning yoga first, and then we're gonna make our way to the country club for breakfast. Okay, listen, all, all this stuff is so unnecessary. 5 a.m. yoga, what, what am I doing at 5 a.m.? What am I doing 5 a.m. yoga for? 6 a.m. homework? Wouldn't I have done that the night before? Why is that on the schedule? Water plants, chore reset day, 5 p.m. vocal, 7 p.m. run? <laughs> Bro, I'm about to run to my room, I'm good. I'm looking at her schedule. Lunch with tutor, lunch with tutor, lunch with coach, lunch with coach, lunch with Marco. Who's Marco? Why is it tennis? I'd be like, I don't want to be a singer. What am I, why do I need a vocal tutor for? I'll be honest, you're young with not a lot of experience. So I can't offer you the waitress position, but I can hire you for dishwasher part-time. Yeah. I'm young with no experience. Where would you like me to get the experience from when I was going to school? From where, please tell me. Oh, don't have enough experience for being the waitress? Don't you, I don't, I don't think you needed to, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being a waitress. I'm just saying you don't have enough experience to be the waitress. Don't you just kind of go into being the waitress? You know, isn't that just like where they kind of put you first and then you learn along the way, you know, I'm gonna gain the experience as I go through. Hardly had time to breathe. Oh, I'm sure. The Costanita Foundation is the talk of the town. <laughs> but let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? Who is this pretty little thing? And what have you done with our Estrella? Ah, 
I was gonna be like, I hope they can tell that's a different girl and they're just not like, oh, she's Mexican too, she fit <laughs> the same. Mm. Well, this is Maria. She's a family friend who is staying with us. And Estrella is away doing some self-discovery. So important for a girl her age. Oh. Tell me, what is it that you like to do? What are your future plans? I don't know, maybe be a beauty influencer or something? <laughs> Dang, you dreaming big, girl! Oh my gosh, those big plans when you thought you were gonna dream bigger? Beauty influencer. Mind blown, mind free. That was crazy thinking. You turned away your friends who wanted to hang out with you because they weren't dreaming big enough. Your big dream was beauty influencer. That is crazy, insane. Oh, honey, go for something lighter. You don't want to appear unbridled to the other women. I don't understand. I'm just eating breakfast. And I will have our chef make you a full course lunch to make up for it, okay? It's just part of the game we have to play. Then why is it here? Why is it on the table? Why did we order this just to sit here and look at it? That's stupid. I'd eat it. I'd be like, who cares what they think? All they're doing is yapping to each other anyway. They're boring. You guys don't have uniforms. Freedom of expression. Yeah, no uniforms here. We uh, really don't see the point. So where's the salad bar? Oh, no, we barely have regular lunch here. State budget cuts are a killer for public schools. Barely have a regular, I mean, isn't that like just a basic necessity? I mean, to have food there? Yeah, but <laughs> different. Yo, what dog, what dog food brand is that? Hey, how's brunch? Good, but I'm still hungry. Well, you can eat more after Daniels. We're running late now, we gotta go. Thinking about taking a nap, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> a nap? There is no time for a nap. Or, Betty, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brain here because I'm smart. Um, Instead of doing all these useless activities that aren't really gonna help me in any any sense because one I'm not gonna be a I'm not gonna be a professional violinist I'm not gonna be a professional tennis player nor do I really want to be a singer because I mean you told me I'm, I'm heir to the company wouldn't it be better more beneficial for my upbringing if you taught me how to run a company taught me what people in this company need to do instead of wasting my time on these stupid useless activities and kind of just overall draining me doesn't that seem smarter doesn't that seem much better? Then we have to meet with the neighbors, you know, to play some pickleball. Then you have to go to the gym. Then we have to go through the whole homework, which is gonna take you about three, four hours. For a minute in the quiet. Papa, I have to go take my morning dump and I, I just can't cancel that again, okay? <laughs> cool, my favorite montage. It means I get to skip so much stuff. Start getting ready. We have a press event to go to. I'm so tired. I've been doing stuff all day. Yes, of course you have to go. You're reminding me of Estrella right now. Isn't this what you wanted? Mr. Chairman, I have a unanimous consent request. There's Ricky at seven. It's Mikael Myers. Uh, back from work, I see. Um, yeah, what, what's the point of doing all those useless activities? I don't, under, I don't understand that. That, that doesn't make sense. Like, that's... <laughs> That's like punishing her for no reason. I don't get that. Even after working all week, I have no money. I can't even hang out with my friends because I have no time. And if I have to eat one more public school lunch, I'm gonna die. You guys can have a slumber party. No offense, but I don't think I'd invite them over here. I thought this is what you wanted, Estrella. Freedom, public schools. If I can mix and match some things, like I'll keep my school, the freedom, and my money, and where I live, then yeah, that's what I want. I'll go ahead and give the the useless lessons, the public school food, um, overall the poor atmosphere here. It's nothing personal, but you know, just go ahead and give that back. I couldn't do it anymore, Daddy. I miss our life. I miss you guys. I miss being Casaneda. Oh, we miss you so much, and we're glad to have you back, okay? <laughs> Maria! Dad! I was so caught up in this image thing, you know, living up to my grandpa's name, that I didn't realize how much pressure I was putting on you. And for that, I'm really, really sorry. In fact, we can eliminate some of your extracurricular activities, and we could even enroll you in a public school if it's you okay. wish. Wow, wow. So now you just get to be rich and have the freedom. What a crazy lesson you learned. Oh my gosh. What a life-changing lesson you, you've learned. 
insane. If this was the Dar, if I was in the Darman universe, all I have to do to stop being chunky was just be like, hmm, maybe I should eat a salad once in a while, and then within within the same episode, I have a six pack because I just I chose a salad over the pizza. Oh my gosh, life lesson learned. The lesson of my video would be <laughs> would be just don't eat junk food. Who oh, no, it was that easy. The life lesson here is don't be a spoiled brat. Oh my gosh. Mickey, isn't that bad? Plus, kind of like my extracurricular no, activities. No, you don't. They're and stupid it's and much useless. better than washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would rather uh, I would rather suffer at 4 a.m. and just have no free time left in the world than work a regular job. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. That is so stupid. <laughs> let me know what you thought the lesson was in the comment section down below. Everyone let me know, and maybe I'll pin whoever I thought that was the closest. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.